The state of Utah is an earth-rich system. It's rich in mineral resources, it's rich in water, it's rich in earthquake hazards. So geology and geophysics is really a heart of the science that is done everywhere in the state. I started at the university in 1968, and I'm a seismologist, geophysicist, and a geologist working all together. And I noticed there was all these great opportunities to study earthquakes and volcanoes in the Intermountain region that had never been looked at. Yellowstone is an active volcano. It's an active geologic laboratory. Yellowstone experiences two to 3,000 earthquakes a year. But then in 2004, and it was amazing, we were looking at our data and we said, our instruments in Yellowstone must be broken, our GPS receivers, because the ground is suddenly going upwards. Well, that turned out to be the beginning of the most rapid uplift of the Yellowstone caldera that we've ever been mapped historically. And we have people that come here from all over the world. They know there's unusual, very unique data they can work with, that they will have strong support, both scientifically, computationally. This is a very unique experiment. We wanted to see very deep in the Earth, at the depths of several hundred miles, by the network of seismic stations and electromagnetic stations. As a result, we will be able to develop uh, a full uh, geological model of the continental United States, then we can make much better prediction about the exploration for natural resources, for groundwater exploration, oil and gas, mineral resources. So it's extremely important uh, for economy. Also, it will give us better foundations to understand and predict huge earthquakes, huge uh, volcano eruptions, etc., which affect, as we know, for example, from recent events in Japan, the uh, life of the entire country. When the Japan earthquake magnitude 9 event occurred, all of our instruments, as shown here on the wall, recorded everything. We couldn't do very much about it, but we could explain to people how this system works and the importance of it. Education and outreach is a high priority for us, so that's a challenge to put the information out there where, where the public and government can use it, but that's, it's really a high priority for us. And all our data is available in real time on the web, and anybody who is interested can go there and get it. People know about what we do here, I think because of the way we've conveyed the information in our research, in our published documents, in our books. The university has been very supportive of the things that I've done and together we coalesce into a very successful program that is internationally well known.